there's a big team behind this little car. Both Citroen and Toyota helped Peugeot develop it, and each company sells its own version. All three are essentially the same, with just a bit of cosmetic surgery at the front and rear to tell the triplets apart. There are some slight differences between the car's prices and equipment too, and the devil is in the detail. So how does the 107 stack up next to the competition? The 107 comes only with a three-cylinder, one-litre petrol engine. But in a car this size, that's enough. It's nippy in town and can even cope with faster roads if you make full use of the gears and work the engine hard. Everything works smoothly too, even the fully automatic setting in the semi-automatic gearbox. The car's small size and tiny turning circle are perfect for town and help to make it nimble. But it's not as agile as it might be because the steering is slow to react. It's better at high speeds, but the firm suspension that gives the car its agility also causes a firm, noisy ride that you can never forget. You can never escape the thrummy note of the engine either, but that's part of the car's charm. However, we can't say the same about the unwelcome amount of road and wind noise. The driving position won't suit everyone because the steering column adjusts only for height. Still, that's more than the driver's seat does. Although the 107 is cheap, it's not short on quality. Despite the exposed metal and hard plastics, there's a fun-loving character to the cabin, typified by the cylindrical heater control panel that glows orange at night. The overall look is attractive and there's a solid feel throughout. There are three and five door versions of the 107, and given how small it is, there's a surprising amount of room inside. Four people will fit, as long as they're not too tall and are happy to share out the space. However, they won't be able to take much luggage. The boot is tiny and accessed through an awkward opening. To carry anything substantial, you'll need to fold the split rear seats. Never mind its looks, the real attraction of the 107 is that it is cheap to buy and should cost peanuts to run. Every model is in the lowest group for insurance and can manage around 60 miles per gallon on a run. Resale values are decent too. While Toyota did most of the engineering work on the 107 and the company has an excellent record for reliability. Equipment levels are not exactly lavish, but every 107 does have a CD player, two airbags and power steering. The higher spec Urban also has electric front windows, side airbags, split folding rear seats and remote central locking. You may be drawn to the 107 by its looks, but there's more to it than that. Above all, it's cheap to buy and run, and you get more than you'd expect for the price. Yes, it has its faults, but there's something about it you can't help liking.